love going to the movies. And for those of you who haven't been to the movies in a while, a movie theater is like the internet, but you can't skip any of the ads. <laughs> the only problem is I never know which movies to go to. I mean, will I understand Angry Birds if I haven't played the game? <laughs> That's when I turned to my favorite movie reviewer, Gil Peaches. He has a YouTube channel, but he doesn't have a lawyer, so we play his clips on my show. <laughs> Once again, it's time for Not at the Movies, with Gil Peaches. <laughs> Hello. I'm Gil Peaches. Welcome to Not at the Movies with me, Gil Peaches. Hello, I'm Gil Peaches. Here are the movies I saw this week. X-Men Apocalypse. Now, for those of you not familiar with Roman numerals, that means 10 men apocalypse. <laughs> My favorite of the 10 men was Magneto. His superpower is right there in his name. Magnet. <laughs> Professor X should have been Professor Reads Your Mind, and Cyclops should have been Johnny Laser Eyes. Then I would have known what they were going to do, and I could relax and enjoy my hot pretzel. I did not care for this movie. For one thing, I had trouble focusing on the plot because the floor was very sticky and it made me wish I'd worn shoes. <laughs> I give X-Men Apocalypse four basketballs and one volleyball for cartoon violence. <laughs> Next up, Finding Dory. Hello. I'm Gil Peaches. <laughs> Normally, I'm excited to see a Pixar sequel because of all the cars, especially when they're planes. <laughs> but I just don't relate to fish. They swim in the same water where they poop, and I haven't done that since I was kicked out of the Y. Put up a sign, guys. <laughs> they also left out my favorite Pixar character, Shrek, so I had to draw a picture of him on my popcorn receipt and hold it in front of the screen. What a ripoff. <laughs> I give Finding Dory three thumbs, two white, one Africa Marathon. Neither up nor down, they don't want to get involved. <laughs> Hello, I'm Gil Peaches. <laughs> Last movie I saw this week was Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. Normally, I... <laughs> Normally, I see movies alone, but this time, I brought my cousin, Jill Peaches. <laughs> because she's very smart, and it was my grandmother's dying wish. Anna's not dead yet, but we're getting the wishes out of the way. Hello, Jill Peaches. Tony Chu on Jill Peaches. How is Brenda? We broke up. I called it. <laughs> Who got to keep the samurai swords? She did, but I kept the bamboo armor. Well played, Jill. So, what did you think of Mike and Dave need wedding dates? I'm on the fence. Side saddle or straddling? Straddling. Ouch. On one hand, the movie had comedy, romance, and heart and a rapid series of still images that created the illusion of motion. That part gave me vertigo. I had to lie down in the aisle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes there's snacks down there. Also, none of the characters were samurai. Very disappointing. If they gave awards to movies, it would definitely lose. But the one standout was Aubrey Plaza. If I were... If I were a movie producer, I'd keep both my eyes on that one. Because she's just so good? No, because she looks like she steals. <laughs> my only complaint was after the credits when my car wouldn't start because I'd left the headlights on. So predictable. I give Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates five throwing stars. Speaking of which, Brenda, give me back my throwing stars. There's a renaissance fair this weekend and you knew that. <laughs> Jill, you know that throwing stars are not renaissance era appropriate. I'm going as a time traveler, Gil. Touche. <laughs> well, that's a wrap for this episode of Not at the Movies with me, Gil Peaches. And me, Jill Peaches. Until next time, see you not at the movies. I miss you, Brenda. I die Stay for you. Stay strong, Jill. Stay, I die for you. Stay strong. <laughs>